it going? It's Lisette here from Sweet Girl Farms. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a tutorial of how to open your pomegranates without the mess. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. All right, everyone, so we're gonna get started. You want to have a flat area where you can capture all of the grains that might fall, the little seeds. And then I'm gonna do a tutorial with this one that I was starting. And then I'll show you twice so that you can capture exactly the, the idea behind opening up a pomegranate. So we have our big old pomegranate right here. These are nice. Oh no, the eye fell. Okay, cool. So we are going to have our uh, knife ready. Make sure that it's sharp. And so the trick with the pomegranate is to not slice through it completely. That creates a lot of juices that will just fall everywhere and you lose a lot of the seeds there as well when you just slice through it. So my recommendation is going to be the next. You are going to start making a slit at the very top of the pomegranate all the way around, just like I did here. So that's what I did. I did a slit and then I start to peel it off. Do you guys see that? So let's continue making the slit throughout this one. So I'm not actually sliding all my knife all the way through. It's just a very delicate incision. And then you see how I'm grabbing my knife and starting to separate the skin from the fruit? That's what you want to do. That's going to make it easier for you to peel that top part. So you can see that the slit is all in the side and it didn't go all the way through the fruit. I'm gonna keep repeating that because that's the idea. Okay. And then you're gonna lift up and look at that. It's just the skin that's coming off and then some seeds but not all of them. You see how it can easily just come off? And that's why I say you want to have a flat surface so that any seeds that fall off can be captured. You can also put a bowl here and then that'll start capturing the seeds. All right. Only two of these came through there. And then you see now we have this like sombrero just hanging out here. You see? The important part when you are going to take this top off um, away from the pomegranate is for this center piece to come out completely because that's what actually holds all the wedges in place and you see how that came off beautiful and still no mess there's no juice anyway okay now from here wherever there is that white uh, line that's where we're gonna make slits again through the skin, not the entire fruit. And when we pop that open, it's gonna give us a nice wedge of fruit and then that's what we're gonna be able to nibble on. So you see it's kind of like a star shape too. So we're gonna go here, here, another one here, and then maybe another one down here, okay? It's gonna be the same concept. We are going to just very gently make a slit through the skin, not the entire fruit. And then to do this, you kind of want to rock your knife to the curvature of the fruit. And that's gonna make it easy for you to just do that slit. We're gonna do one more. All right, perfect, so look at that. Maybe we can make another one here if we don't want such a big wedge. But this is a large pomegranate anyways, so 
I'm expecting to have large wedges. And then you see my hands, minimal juice, not a huge mess, and nothing on my clothes. Okay, from here, we're gonna start to break this up. You see how gently I did that? From the center, so use your thumb and put that pressure here in the very middle and start propping it open. You see how easy that is? Look at that, it's gonna be a beautiful wedge all around. Okay, now we're ready to start bringing this out. We got one grain down, but not a lot. Second wedge is coming off. Third, and then fourth. And there's your pomegranate, guys. Now, you can easily just remove the white part and enjoy, nibble on it, take the grains off, however you want to do it. I usually kind of just nibble on it, like if it were sweet corn. No mess. You see? Only a few grains fell, but that's about it. And you can share this among your family. You see, and then you just take the center off. Boom, done. And we are good to go. I'm gonna show you with another pomegranate. This one has been sitting out for a week and a half, two weeks. And then the point with me showing you something that's been sitting out is that nothing happens to the inside of the pomegranate. Pomegranate will actually stay pretty well conserved, even if you just leave it on your counter for uh, six months or so. The skin starts to wrinkle, like what you see here. It starts to suck up, or yeah, the moisture is just lost eventually, as opposed to something like this that's nice and smooth. But what's beautiful about pomegranates is the actual seeds stay intact. So, and then I want to show you again, just make a slit. Um, you want to do this maybe a couple inches, one inch to two inches away from the very crown of the pomegranate. And then again, I use my knife to start peeling off that top part. Okay, the slit is there, same thing. We have our sombrero and now we are going to take this piece off. Wiggle it a little bit so just everything comes off. Okay, this middle part didn't come off so what I do, I take my knife I gently make an incision through it all around. Just that middle part though. Don't want to poke too, too uh, far deep. Boom, that's up. Okay, and then we see again the white lines. We follow those. And then we're going to make wedges again. So just grab the fruit, make that little incision. Again, grab from the middle, rotate, there's one wedge, start taking the white parts off. And then you're good to go. A little bit more fallout on this one, but still not a big mess. And then now we're good. Alrighty guys, well that was the tutorial on opening up pomegranate. So here's the first one. I already ate um, 
one of the wedges here's the second one so i hope that that was helpful to you guys and that it makes life easier so that when you are eating a pomegranate it's not that messy if you have any questions or comments then let me know but yeah i hope you enjoy the pomegranates they're now in season we also have fresh pomegranate juice um, if you need that then just go ahead and dm me pre-order and the pomegranates are available here at the farm stand i'm open daily you can find me on my social media at sweet girl farms instagram facebook youtube our website google and tiktok Alrighty, guys thank you so much for watching take care bye